I'm back, folks. Uh, as you can see, it's a little wet. Once it dries, it'll look a little different than that. That one ain't very dark. I'm going to do the other one. I'll go a little, uh, I mean, lighter. I'm going to let the bleach stay on there just a little bit longer. But I'm not going to use any tape this time because of the uh, sake of time and uh, considering myself an artist and I can do things freehand. Maybe you do too, and you can do the same thing, but uh, just remember, try to keep your bleach in where you want it to go. I'm just going to freehand this one, kind of, and uh, it's going to be a little smaller on this one. And, you know, this, this picture is not, uh, doesn't have to be perfect because it, well, if you've seen my kids' shirts, you'd understand why. You've got to turn it this way for a sec again. The eyes. Remember, what you want left black, you got to stay away from the bleach with that. You, the black has got to stay black. Whatever you put bleach on is going to go away. So, just kind of get a little nearer here and there. And you gotta do your finger painting again. Kind of rub around where you want it to go. Kind of hard for me to do. Cold in here. See, it's starting to take effect. I like to sometimes come over here and do like stripes and stuff, you know. Just uh, these black shoes, these mono black uh, china pairs, I think work good for bleaching because of the red instead of the white, like the old chucks. I remember when I used to do this to my American made chucks, it'd be all white there instead of red. Red kind of makes a different look. I'm going to do like a biohazard sign on this side. Remember that always used to be like a popular thing. Biohazard emblem there. I think I'm going to do the inside of the biohazard though instead of the outside. It's kind of, you know, you just got to play with it and just remember, you don't want to do this with some good clothes on. I think I'll do this here. You can even put your favorite band or whatever on there, you know. Uh, I've done pairs with crosses all over them for my wife. And uh, I got a bunch of other tricks, folks, that I'll be sharing with you later on. And uh, maybe do some eyeballs up here, you know. Bloodshot eyes, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you want, you can do it. Star, you know, stars. Just uh, anything, zigzags like this, you know, just whatever. <laughs> you can just doodle if you want to. <laughs> and sit that one aside. Bring this one back up, I show you. So you can fair, see it faintly there, the, the old Punisher guy there. And I think I'll bleach him out a little more. Not quite red enough yet. It's wet, but that's okay. Let's work with it wet too. It's okay. 
just a little more red and shown up there and then maybe put a oh I don't know uh, uh, we'll put some more zig zigzaggy zaggy stuff here I've done flames with these too I made flames and then I added the other colors that needed to be for the flames Believe it or not, I made Chuck Taylor with flames before the Chuck Taylor uh, Converse did back in the 90s. I was trying to, I was a youth pastor back then and I had a bunch of kids going out getting all tattooed up and everything and I was trying to encourage them, you know, tattoo up your shoes, guys. Don't be doing it to your skin. You never know what you're going to do to yourselves. They were doing it all homemade and everything, not getting it done by pros. And, you know, they were just... Uh, Doing it the wrong way. Just kind of fan that out a little bit. <laughs> can just doodle with this stuff, man. It's it's pretty neat stuff. This bleach pen. That's set for a minute. I'm gonna go rinse my other one out. You can see it's really, really starting to show up there, all the bleaching going on. You can sit here and do some fingerprints, you know, it don't matter. Just bleach don't kill you folks. It might irritate you a little bit, but it washes off. It probably disinfect some things that you might have on you. But uh, let's go rinse this one off. Right back. Okay folks, you can see I got my trusty five gallon bucket that I use for stone washing and uh, <coughs> I don't want to use that thing, uh, don't want to throw these in the washer with a bunch of clothes that your mom will get mad at you and, and uh, throw you out of the house, dad or whoever, your wife, husband, I don't know who's watching these, but uh, as you can see I already did the the second pair, uh, the red's really showing up pretty good on them actually. I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, I'll do this one next. I'm just going to stick it in here and start squishing it around. Get that bleach off there. Got the purple ones on today. Some of my work shoes. Yeah, probably 50 work pair and 50 good pair. Seems like once that gets wet, it doesn't work as good. Better than off let them dry first, but we'll see. We'll check up on them again tomorrow. We have to do some more work to them, we will. We gotta let them dry and uh, work with them some more later, maybe. Doesn't seem to work as good when they're all wet. I'm wasting a lot of bleach, but uh, you can see it's working a little bit there. Uh, there's the old skull, the old Punisher skull there on the side. This one's missing some rubber, so I don't care if I cut a little hole in it, it'll be alright. Well, they're supposed to look trashy. All right, well, that's all we're going to do today, and uh, we'll get back with these tomorrow after they dry, and I'll show you how to do some more stuff with them. <laughs>